What is up you guys? My name is Selena and today's going to be a tutorial showing you guys how to create a burst from a cannonball or a cliff jump or anything. So I saw this in Cameron Ehrman's Live Now 3 video and I kind of wanted to try and recreate the effect. Not exactly like how he did it but pretty similar and it's super simple so I'll show you guys how to do this in After Effects. So first you're going to need to have a jumping clip. Uh, basically just someone jumping into a pool or ocean and then you're also gonna need to download some burst overlays so if you just search that up on YouTube you can find plenty of results and download the packs and you'll have a lot of bursts within a pack so yeah I'm just bringing this burst in right here and I'll try to link you to the video that has this effect so basically it's just bursting and the reason why the quality doesn't look super great is because my quality is at quarter so the rendering time is a lot faster but anyways we're gonna change the blending mode to add so you can toggle switches if it doesn't show it then you want to press that little cube for the 3d camera effect and then you want to go to layer and new camera and I'm keeping it at 35 mil and then just pressing ok ok so now you can kinda adjust the scale if you want right now ok so now I'm just gonna make this effect on one of my friends because you could do it on both, but I just want to show you guys with one person. So, you're just going to want to move the video clip towards the person who's jumping in. And then match it towards when she starts to hit the water. So, I'm just dragging it to there. And this effect is kind of going a little bit slow for me. So, I'm just going to speed it up by right-clicking. And then going to time and time stretch. And changing the stretch factor to 50%. So it'll be double the speed. Okay, so I'm just trying to match it to where she kind of hits the water. And also what I like to do is just bring that opacity down to about 28% because I don't want that burst to be so harsh. Okay, so now because we made the camera, we can actually use the effect. So if we go up to the fourth little tool at the top, where it has the rotating spin button, you can click on your clip and then rotate it to however way you want to make it look like it's attached to the water so that so yeah that's looking a lot better and you can definitely 3d track this if you want but we're trying to make this as simple as possible so yeah I think that looks pretty good and you can adjust the scale and opacity to make it look exactly how you want it to so I pretty much just brought the scale back up to 77%. But one thing that's really bothering me is that if you watch the clip, you can kind of see the edges of the burst. So what I like to do is since I can't really find uh, an overlay on the internet where the burst isn't taking up the whole clip, I'm just going to go to the rectangle tool and use it to create a mask. And so basically just outlining the edges of the video. And then going down to the mask that we made and going to mask feather and just feathering it all the way up and we can just drag that rectangle down so it's already covering the corners and edges of the clip. Okay, so yeah, that's looking a little bit better. Um, now if you want to make a color out of this, you if you don't want it to be white, you can go to hue and saturation and just add that onto your overlay and then you can check that box for colorize and then go to the colorize hue and you'll see it has some different colors but you can barely see it so you can go to the saturation colorize and it'll bring that color up so I changed it to this blue color and yeah it's looking blue <laughs> So yeah, that's the whole tutorial. Um, you can definitely make this look more advanced and professional and use different bursts and overlays. Like you can go super creative with this. So I hope I gave you like a good starting point. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.